to me? Away with it. No drama at the Queen's table. Is this really yeah. happening right now? Is this happening? We're done talking. Rumor here is old and fake news at this point. Medici's and his man didn't have a rosy relationship, so the old lady didn't expect what her son revealed to the whole group of friends at the celebration. Now, she giving Mendeecees the platform so that he could appreciate all that his mom had done for him to the point where he'd gotten to. Now, unfortunately for her, Mendeecees would open up about having a regrettable childhood with his mom. Just say whatever God wants you to all say. Right. I mean, I don't want to say it because you know, don't you want to do it? Then what the f is you doing? I stand next to you so I can talk too. Come on. Go ahead. I want you to speak. He was left in the house for days with no food direction how even to get out the house and we used to go to the neighbor's house and ask him for food oh, I'm full. let me take it from here you no. told me to talk yeah but not all that all right, yeah. no man dc got up and said he was hungry i don't know where that came from there were hungry children out there dc have never confronted me about his pain and hurt all i see is my son talking about my tribes and my tribulation so this is about isn't it man dc has put his mother before everything his whole life and through i have my time out here in the streets but my children are my inspiration to life talk the story as he's talking this story Judy, I get it. You his mom, so it's like, as a mom, those things really hunt you. Oh, I got you. Listen, go ahead, go ahead, go just go ahead, relax. Because go ahead, go ahead, go. you're strong, you bounce back, and I'm proud of you. Change to that. I need my mom to understand that, that I was not trying to embarrass her. Everybody that's watching you and judging you got their own skeletons in their closet. Yes. You raised. You did this. I love this. Listen, son. listen, whatever you had to go through. Scrappy, you want to thank everybody for coming to this. It's good, man. Y'all take that with you. But his mom has to be to the point where she wants to own her truth as well. Do y'all agree that Ray J could have played that game smarter like his woman claimed? Nah, you'd be surprised to see how Safari treated the situation. And despite the allegation is leveled against him, he still asked that A1 and Lyrica invite him to their baby shower. Why am I so happy about that? Why did I hear it? With been looking at the homie. You can get over it. I'm happy it ain't one of the just wasn't sitting here waiting for us. I told Safari to come along. That's yeah. the wrong thing to do. Why would you do that? They invited us out. We're supposed to have a good time. Made a bill. Yo! Hey! Hey, Ray! Hey. my brother? I did. I told him to pull up because I felt like it was the right thing to do. <laughs> To sit here and lie to A1's face is really, really, really unsettled. Special guest for tonight's gathering is for the greater good. I'm really optimistic that everything will turn around. It though, so it's cool. Nope. Princess, I'm so sorry that what? I like Mr. Gender. I apologize. I have hate for us to fight. Actually, that was perfect timing. Just turn into an engagement party. <laughs> because. But to know that Lyric is pregnant, she needs to know immediately what's about to go down. Okay, now, y'all know when they come back, they... Far is showing up tonight, that's bad enough. For one of everything on the menu. Yeah. Hello. That's big, what's up? What's up? Hey, look, we, we used to be the three amigos. Yeah. We friends. Girl. Yo. And just got to let him know what you told me, fam. It wasn't supposed to be like this. Bruh. I'm listening. <laughs> Mommy Safari told me that he had sex with Lyric. Um, Safari was starting up a storm. Now, I didn't know it led to some possible sex. It's exactly where I need to be right now. Feel bad about it? And, like, you don't want to say it or what? Like... Hey, one. Do you do you really think I would do that? You should chill, girl. Like, get some water. Yo, listen. I'm quite be uncomfortable. Oh my God. Leave nothing to hide. So if Ray J wants to hold court with Safari here, what's going on? This rumor here is old and fake news at this point. What the f going on? Um, no. What
I didn't say that. No, 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 Lyrica. No. All of a sudden, you can't talk to Fari. Whatever y'all all got going on, but leave me out of it. Hand off. But this time, I'm being patient. Every you took too long, bro. So we'll come back to blow you with a climb on the cable like a wild. Get in here patiently. Hey, when he was confronted with the truth, Ruben couldn't believe what was happening before him. Now his wife was not only defending herself, neither was she denying the fact that she'd been in an extramarital affair with Rich Dollars. Now the tense situation annoyed Jonathan so much that he revealed what he had hidden in his mind for so long. Richard is here today and... You, you're welcome about it? We were working and you came and... Why are you guys so nervous? It's my husband. That was dope that you came out and supported, even though, you know, that y'all separated and divorced. This is the right place to What do you mean, the multiple times? Are you working, um, working with her? Mm -hmm. Are you having an affair with, with this guy? Can you, can you look at me when you're talking to me? We've been dating. You've been dating? She has two kids. Did she tell you that she's still living with me? Do you think it's right? Hmm? Nobody thinks it's right. It's just, oh. it's just happening. Just in your business, because this is clearly a conversation. Listen, people. I'm talking to her. When I finish talking to her, and then I talk to you. Listen, this went from awkward to awful, and I'm just stuck in the middle. Oh, listen, calm down. My face. Don't do this right now. Nice. I don't want to talk to you. By the way, he's rap, and he felt the same way. So I don't understand why this old dude is so bent. You're making a mistake. If you want to leave Ruben, leave him for you. I saw you, Richard, with my eyes. I swear to God, I don't, I don't have a phone. Yes, you did. Where? In my life, I should have listened to my best friend Jonathan when he was telling me to pump the brakes with Rich. Said I didn't give a number, and that's all I'ma say about. Ariane was surprised to learn that Mimi was still involved with Nico. Now she thought that they'd ended things. Unknown to her, their intimacy got a little bit more intense. Then she revealed what she and Nico been doing. Now afterwards, Nico opened up to Mimi that he had misplaced the bag that contained the drive on which their sex tape was recorded. Nico, the same boy. I know Mimi did not just say she's back with Nico, this trash bag. Take me back, because last time we exactly. talked, she knows no the like a relationship. That's what that, you that's know. The, oh, right. Because it's, what if it gets into the wrong hands? What if y'all break up? Then it's like, voila. It's that good you want to document it. <laughs> like, he has one and you have one? Sometimes she's not the brightest when it comes to men. You're no. supposed to keep the tape, girl. So you trust him. Wouldn't trust Nico with a spare key to my house, let alone a sex tape? Come on. But <laughs> y'all, I'm going to do what I want to do anyway. <laughs> well. Surprised me with a last minute invitation to dinner. I to spend his time with me, and I'm not sitting at home. I trust you. I feel really safe with you. I felt that comfort. I told Mimi I had something to tell her. So you said you had to tell me something. What is it? I'm anxious. It's disturbing. Is that my camera was in that bag. And what? And everything we done on that camera been exposed. <sighs> what does this mean? We exposed. For one urban blog in the world. The camera was in your bag that was stolen. And out. Give me the f tape. Like a month ago. It's on this situation, are you kidding me? And not trust this man with something so sacred and so private. Stevie doesn't matter in this case. Stevie matters. No, he doesn't Because he's my daughter's. One artist got between Stevie J and Sean Garnett. So Stevie showed up at this event to reveal a couple of things to Sean, and those at this table included Mama D, Rashida, and Young Jock. Mimi was also present, and it was pretty clear from the jump that Stevie J came to look for some trouble. One of the guests at the shower has been making my life a little less than peaceful. I let Sean Garrett slide at the Danger Zone showcase because I was too busy dealing with Erica. The reason why Erica mad at me anyway is because Sean Garrett went back to her and said I asked if she could sing in that. About the DM the new artist sent me? What did her DM even say? Want to talk about me? Be ready because now you're really with the wrong one, homie. Called you a bitch. I'm a grown ass man with yeah. six kids. 
you seen him? You no, no. Well, I don't really pass judgment. What happened for her to send that to you? I'm confused. I mean, I told Sean, I'm like, yo, can she sing? Bro, I, I let her know what you told me. When we talk about the artists, don't need to know what we talking about. It's just boss to boss. Fred up, baby shout. I'm telling you, you're the only person that could have told her something. So you basically oh, saying you got an issue with me? Is this really going on right now? Big enough to stop oh. it. <laughs> I'm gonna show you what a bitch is. I really just keep the peace. If you're you not gonna man, go back, like you say you are. Hold on, hold on, man. Move out the way. Uh -oh. okay. we, 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 see your heart beat. Never disrespect me. So he might as well put a skirt on. Jack, dude, next to me, away with it. No drama at the Queen's table. Yo, Sean, my bad. What's up, Sean? No disrespect to your baby shower. I be damned. This is not the time or the place for all this brothers to be going on. Nico and Mimi reigned as the latest king and queen of explicit content. Now their leaked sex tape had gone far and wide. While Mimi only settled for the idea because she thought there was no way out, it appeared that Nico was completely comfortable with the situation. So Mimi confronted Nico to know if there's any truth to his claims of loving her. What she heard blew her mind and it'll blow yours as well. How was your day? I'm so exhausted from everything that's been going on, so. Um, what is it, ask me anything? Great. <laughs> Something on media take out about you being married. Any truth? Yes, there is. Yes, I am married. I went hard for this man. I think he would just sit here calm and say, yeah. Can't even cuss you like I want to. Being honest with you. I don't surprise for me, I'm sorry. And then he turns around and stabs me in the back. Relationship with me, that that is something that I should know. But he can't even tell me when he's planning on getting a divorce. Like, you want me to just, I don't know and what you want me to do. That's the point. You don't get it. Finish we me. haven't finished talking. What else do you have to say to me? Just help me right now. I would stop right now. Can we do dinner? Is this yeah, really yeah. happening right now? It is happening. We're done talking. Rich Doll is always in a messy situation, and while you might call Stevie J the OG creep, only Rich Dollars comes close. Now, while he was still solving domestic issues with his lady, another lady walked in with claims that he neglected her as her man. Now, the situation grew tense from there. I came by his restaurant today because he cannot avoid me forever. A lot to say. Ashley's opinion of Jay definitely bothered me. Knew I couldn't avoid this forever, so when she came by the restaurant, I needed to get us a private room so nobody could hear her beefing. I haven't seen you since I met Ashley, and she had a lot to say to me. She went off on me. My child went off on you? Are you kidding? For sure. Because I rem no, they were not. I remember it very clearly back, but you have me go through all of that. I'm literally fighting for this relationship. You have a bad bitch, but can you keep one? Because this happy little union, I'm just trying to figure out what you're gonna do to make it work. I have nothing to say. If you're so unhappy, and this is such a I'm honestly going or kidding me, you're not even gonna fight for this at all. I'm devastated that he has this dumb look on his face while I'm pouring my heart out to him. It's not an ultimatum, it's yes, I wanna keep my woman or I don't. Hi. <laughs> How are you? PD. Because I discovered that Rich might be with somebody new. You yelled at me. Kidding me? You called her a week ago. Oh, oh that's out. crazy. We were getting married too, but I really just came to talk to you. I didn't know you had come over her first horrible meeting with my daughter. I'm here, lying on me. Take the out of context about our relationship. The hell. We Facetime. Oh. It's still his. <laughs> I'm well. He said that. This is my man. I know how but he I, speaks. I, was, I don't I give was, a. Was, Hold on, hold on, time out. But I'm not gonna give her the satisfaction. Yo, Monique, are you serious right now? But right. it's like well, you're saying you're wilding out. I'm wilding out because you're asking her to see her monkey. What's I mean, if he wanted to move on, he wouldn't be doing any of that now, would he? Something else. You're something I know. else. You're never I'm gonna get rid of me. I'm not going anywhere. I actually love Jade in spite of what my daughter feels. Text Monique once or twice on a late night? Yeah, on some joke. Hell, I don't wanna be with her. Seriously. Rich. Seriously. Seriously. So, I can't. So, so, Don't my yo, boobs, my boobs, my boobs, my boobs, my boobs. I on, had surgery. To her, I'm so confused. So because you, you want to be with this girl? Leave me alone. Away. I'm your woman. No, this is ridiculous. He doesn't have a girlfriend. Of me, that's Not what you said. Off. Here's my message of him asking me to give him in the car. To lose my girl and my mind. K. Michelle made a shocking allegation to A1 in this clip. Now, she was the first to spread the rumor that Lyrica was messing with Safari, and she finalized her results from noting how both of them interacted during a live session. 
She felt Lyrica was a little too comfortable with Safari on the call, laughing and calling it pet names. This one, coupled with what she heard on the street, gave her all the validation she needed for her story. However, A1 wasn't gonna have any of that nonsense. Last plug in LA. So if she don't wanna act right, I'ma send that fake booty back to Atlanta. Bitch, run home and tell her husband, oh my God, the guy with the pearls. You mad at me? I mean, she told me what happened. I didn't come to her bed. I knew her cause to get there. There are no excuses in this business. She is spoiled. She not spoiled. <laughs> Come up my the hour late on my album release? You showed me that you have no respect for the Cause this sounds like you real jealous right now. She's just mm -hmm. mad cause Lyrica's independent and on the charts and K. Michelle Lane. I said some things regarding the Safari situation. She gonna try to somebody. She gonna try to somebody that's more lit than me. I think your album is garbage. Some of them. I know, and I, I, I couldn't believe it. I think your wife is not a star. You want some straight bull you and I see through that. Shit. K. Michelle is banned from radio for missing promo events. He's just trying to find a new target to take down, but not this time, and it's not gonna be my wife. Come on, baby, let's go. Don't talk about me being banned, saying stuff that's not true. Work under somebody. You can't talk to somebody about something that you've never done. Had to melodyne your vocals. Fake ass Bob Marley. You moon pie head. Mariah Lynn was played by Rich Dollars in this clip. Now, Rich had learned of her dealings with Cisco and noticed that Mariah Lynn still tried to get intimate with him. He knew it was bad for his friendship with Cisco, but went ahead with his own plans. Then one day, he invited Cisco over to where he was at with Mariah Lynn. Yeah. Well, Richie hit me up. Mom? That was cute. Between me and Cisco, it just seems like both of them was trying to get over on Richie D. I know Mariah, she just came by my crib the other day. Let me like, just yeah, adjust you know, myself you know, know. a little bit. That's my man. Call me up at 1 o'clock in the morning. You call me up at 3 o'clock in the morning. You tell me when your cycle's on, why you can't come through. Six minutes, know. and I Well, the six minutes is what I know, which we've always got. Do I owe you? You're not my man. I don't have to tell you if I'm... You don't owe me nothing. Right with me about you dating my man. The reason why I started talking to her in the first place was just to get back at you. I thought we was building something, and now you're trying to sit here and flex? That's the rich. That's some bitch. Pull your skirt down. Let's have this conversation. I would love to have this conversation. That's That's why you started talking to me? Use to let either one of these two little mother think that I'm about to get played. We've been having some good conversations, so. Yo, this is classic. I'm going to let Mariah think this is all about payback. Last time we've been together, came through and sat on you. It's big deal. There it is, folks. Under the bus, like I'm some smut ass bitch who'll be giving you the and then you and I can talk later. Y'all have a conversation later. Y'all enjoy good. yourself. You surprised me a lot of I'm saying right, right now. Bye. Good day, baby. Bye. I don't give a f what Rich is saying. I could do who I want, when I want, how I want. The reunion was a chaotic one and a lot had gone down before it got to this scene. Now they just started to flow with the peaceful momentum until Jocelyn broke the moment with a revelation. Nobody expected to be confronted with that kind of news, and nobody could hide their surprise. And when Mimi was asked, she claimed she had no idea what Jocelyn was going on about. Of the end of part one, Jocelyn was just about to reveal something about Mimi in the After Party Live. It's obvious you and Mimi will forever be tied to each other. My bitch too. <laughs> just know that, and that should definitely answer your question. To elaborate on what you were talking about. I'm gonna tell you like this, me and my had her in our bed in my condo, and she doing all that. She needs to go ahead and say that. I'll talk it's about. Good no, I don't know why she act like we're such that. enemies. You, yeah. you and Stevie yes. had Mimi in yeah, your condo. Yeah, I ate that, ate that all night. And take that raggedy ass wig off your head. She right. never responds. And now you act like Can you we hate each other Mimi? so much. I don't give a about what she says. I'm not lying. Is this real? I will, Is this true, I, I will true. You know how them nights be foggy exactly. and all. Exactly. He always love my life. You just be quiet, because you just be lying. You yeah. held it in for a while. Why is that? For Mimi, but she doesn't understand that. And so she makes me not act like I don't have any for her. I, I f***ed you and I had to beg your man we to f*** you. We did. We did. No, he he fell asleep. You. He fell asleep. Don't be mad. It wasn't a threesome, though. Hey. <laughs> Shout out to both of y'all. have a threesome type oh. <laughs> One time thing. Oh, it was a one time thing. It was one time. Are you some? I absolutely did. You did? Okay. I did. All right. Did Where not. were you that night, though? No, it's that. <laughs> Stevie praying for this. <laughs> no, it's that Mimi's an awesome person. Thank you. Yeah. I know I talk a lot of 
Uh, but you did, you made a mistake, but you're a great mother. And I will never take that yes. away from you. You're from day one. So I apologize for everything from then to now. Of you that is open to that apology, Mimi? Absolutely, I'm always open to apology. If it's sincere, absolutely. I let you know that I'm not mad that you guys are together. No, he's a headache, honey. That, that's why I said you. I know you, you know, that's okay. accurate. That's your, now, you got that. I just feel like, you know, it's, it's looking forward to being a great night for me tonight. <laughs> Now, this is how young Jock learned not to trust any women. Now, one of his baby mamas said it bothered him for a nice time, but Jock ain't got no idea that he was being set up as a pawn in a game between two women. Now, his baby mama, Cena, was set to prove to Kadaya that young Jock was hers and hers alone. It's a bitch by nature. I'm just a mother who wants her family back together, and that means KD has to go. Proof? I ain't seen Cena since the last time she kind of showed her ass at the studio session or whatnot. Hold on, I got something else for you, hold on. I'm starting to feel like, okay, maybe I need to get up off this crib with KD. <laughs> this little voice is in the back of my head like, John, get your ass up and go. <laughs> 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 what are you doing? I'm trying to figure out what you got going on. Are you amazing? I'll show you. I'll see you. What are you doing? <laughs> what? This is a little treat and he'll come running. Only so much that a man could take. You want to dip a little toe? <laughs> you wanna dip a little toe? <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'll strap up. Babe. Yeah, what's up, babe? Try something different. I'm going to kill him with kindness and remind him of for us to do something a little bit different tonight. Like what? I'm ready to try new things, you know what I mean? But <laughs> just for the record, I say let me out this shit. You gotta let me out this shit. Oh. This little outfit I wanna go put on for you. You want something to drink? Why? Y'all need y'all. You need what you need. Oh, yes, baby. I think you got this too tight on my arms, man. Looks okay. so good. For oh. you. Oh. Yeah. 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 Your. Baby mama number four came to my office. Toes now? No. Oh my goodness, you's a nasty. I mean, Cena could have just been like, you know what? I had your man. And then maybe I could have talked my way out of it. That's entrapment. Oh, she gonna hear it from me. You better believe Cena gonna hear it from me. Let me out of here. See. Turn this off and hook me so I can explain this to you. You want to do it. You did. I mean, you I want... did that. I didn't go all the way though. I... Enough to believe that you got another thing coming. I got something for you, Jock. No, don't. Cause see you me. embarrassed me today. Hey. Get it up. You let hey. it happen. Hey. Baby, come on, man. Tell you to stop. No. When you were. Sucking. I don't either. That's the point. I don't either. Bad black woman on Jock's ass. I'll be good that you created. OK. I'm oh, sorry. Like, you tricked me so good. Leave me. Yes, I am. Oh, you're not, oh, you're not for oh, leaving me. I'm taking a break. I, 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 did not go, I did not go all the way with it. You know what? Back to seeing the house? No. Baby not. mama number four. Stop, Kadeel. <sighs> Stop playing. Okay, man, hey, don't, hey, okay. Stevie's the master planner of surprises situations that later turn out awkward and weird. And that's exactly what he did with Margot and Nico in this scene. Now, unknown to the couple, Margot was present as a model for one magazine, but no one knew who the owner of the magazine was. Margot then came up with the idea to increase her fee. Two, three. Just look like you're gonna have a bunch of spread in the magazine. You're gonna have a couple of pages. I'm glad you made this happen. This is a good look. Please. What's good, bro? How's it coming? Jimmy's coattail for too long. And I can't think of a better way to teach him a lesson. Magazine. I don't have anything against Margot, although she seems a little obsessed with Mimi. Put out an offer for Margot. So today, I got Nico's wifey just where I want it. Right now, it's priceless. And by Frico being here, it just makes my revenge taste a little more sweet. Problem with you, Okay, Margot. so then how come you weren't at the meeting with the partner to do the Listen, magazine? Because I didn't want to be a part of that. And had a business meeting. And never, not once, did he ever mention Stevie J. I'm glad that I had enough common sense to bring Nico along with me. You guys here now? No, why are you here now arguing? So Steve and Jordan try to pull a fast one over on my wife. There must be some attempt for you to get even on me. It's not gonna happen. I'm not cracking a sweat. He's not a clown. You two can fight. I'm not dealing with this. I don't fight. Kitty, immature bull. 
and this is some shady business practice. Yeah. You Come on, don't know yeah. him. Do you know him? Yeah, I do know him, and I don't know no, no, you. No, no, no. Phone call to do a photo shoot, and I showed up and did my part. Okay. Why do they even like each other? Why? Because he took your lap dog you don't even want? I think my fee just went up. Do you you want me on the cover of your I magazine? Because clearly, yeah. I can You're speak. Too much to 10 G's. 10 G's? Yeah. All right, so tell me what you got under your belt that you deserve 10 G's. Pay me for the cover of the magazine. Okay. This one's got a mouth on it. I like it. Jocelyn know about this? Absolutely. I would much rather hang out with Jocelyn than you. Ain't no fighting, well, ain't no fighting you bum. I don't see the money, though. Models that could finish this 